Vertiports are basically mini airports and you take those mini airports that will allow electric vertical and takeoff landings, accommodate those aircraft, but not away from where the population is, right in the heart of where people live, work and play. Um, so it is a, a, a mini uh, airport, if you will, but from a design perspective, uh, treating transportation very differently. They're quiet, they're sustainable, um, and unlike you know, large aircraft that requires extensive long runways, these are postage stamp uh, airports that allow for you to take the aircraft to where the people are as opposed to the people uh, out to the airport. Ferrovial four or five years ago began looking at what they do well. They build things, they operate things, and they're in the transportation industry for over 70 years. And so they, they synthesized and began looking out into the future as to what the opportunities may be in electrical, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft literally are just two or three years away. And, and we have synthesized that into what we do well, which is build infrastructure. And so we're in the process of beginning to site, design, and build a series of vertiports across the United States and Europe that will serve this nascent industry that will transform how we all move uh, for, for years to come. We're bringing together uh, architects, engineers, we're bringing environmental uh, materials people, we're bringing in um, virtually every aspect of what it takes to build and operate a facility like this and putting them in a competitive environment um, where they are trying to build a kit of parts so that we can take those design, um, those design efforts and utilize them whether we're building something in downtown Miami, whether we're building in the United Kingdom, or whether we're building it across the United States or Spain. So there are two teams of professionals, uh, 12 in the United States that will be housed in Miami for an intensive two-day uh, workshop and then at the same time there will be uh, 12 experts and professionals that will be housed in Madrid. They will be working uh, on coming up with design concepts and solutions and opportunities to take what is conceptually on a piece of paper and transform it into a new uh, form of, of transportation that will solve urban congestion. Um, in doing so, you know, we're bringing together uh, young uh, professionals as well as seasoned veterans um, and hoping through that amalgamation of different ages, different backgrounds, different experiences, uh, we will get the optimal solution that will separate ferrovial vertiports from anybody else that wants to, uh, to be in this business. A successful vertiport um, has got to be adaptable um, because we're going to build these in a variety of environments. They're going to be up in the northeast in New York where it gets cold. It's going to be in Florida where it's wet and hot. It's going to be in Spain. It's going to be in, in the United Kingdom. And each of those environments bring with some challenges as well as opportunities. This whole design challenge is to try to put the puzzle pieces together that will ensure that we can integrate whatever design is, is ultimately drafted uh, and can be implemented, not only from uh, on a piece of paper, but into the heart of where the communities are. Uh, the Vertiport group uh, was conceived about five years ago uh, through the Innovation Group that took an amalgamation of all the things that Ferrovial is known for, investing, building, and operating major infrastructure, particularly in the aviation sector, and, and looking down the road of what future forms of transportation are going to truly transform how we move. And electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft were at the top of that list. Everybody has been focused, hundreds of people, on the, the technology of, of the electrification of aircraft and moving them uh, vertically. Very few people had the foresight beyond Ferrovial to begin looking at the infrastructure which is critical for this ecosystem to truly take off. We've got to build an ecosystem that will allow us to seamlessly put uh, uh, small airports known as vertiports in the communities where people need them uh, to uh, take care of transportation and quickly move people in high density locations, whether that's city to city, whether that is inside a city, 
uh, or whether that's into and out of a particular airport. Um, to do that, however, we've got to make sure that we're working with the communities. You don't just drop a vertiport uh, in downtown Miami or London uh, without working with the local officials, without uh, working with the federal officials in terms of airspace integration, uh, and without working, quite honestly, with the communities that ultimately will be benefiting from this level of service.